Good evening, and welcome to Winnipeg. Now here is what's happened. I wouldn't say I'm discouraged, but I'm disgusted. <laughs> now, when I was making up these parts here, somehow I missed... Well, you know what, I'll explain it in the next rollback. And tomorrow's video is rollback. I, uh, I wanna, I've, I've had enough with this tonight. I wanna, I wanna do something else. So, I'm gonna leave the model ship, and, uh, Amazon delivered some little parts to me here. Now, be careful when I reach over. Okay, so what I've got here is, is some more of these, uh, adjustable, uh, resistors. Okay, they're, as far as I can tell, they're the exact same as the one that came with that kit that we were looking at. And there are 100 LEDs here. And as near as I can tell, they are the exact same as the ones we had. Uh, well, maybe not. Like, the the uh, connector, connecting rods going up into them look a little bit different. They may not be the same, but they're the same voltage and the same size anyway. At least they're supposed to be. So let's just sort of recompose here, and I'll tell you what I want to try to do here. Okay, so my plan is, uh, first of all, I want to see if I hook these up in a series. Now, these are, are uh, polar polarity sensitive, so I'm going to have to make sure I get them in the right way. But I'm wondering if I hook them up in a series, uh, can, can I uh, pass a higher voltage through, like, the, let's say this is maximum of 3 volts. So if I have two in a series, will will I be allowed to use six volts, or will it still only be three? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm going to put more than more than two in. I'll put maybe five or six in there, and you know, multiply it by three, and we'll just increase the voltage on our power supply and see what happens. Another thing I want to do is I want to see if I put them in a parallel, and and see how many milliamps it takes to run say 10 of these in a parallel like it'd be three volts but how many milliamps at least that's the plan just just sort of just sort of fooling around here probably a lot of you viewers know exactly the answer already but i don't so uh, i'm just sort of having fun with this okay i'm thinking maybe what i will do is first of all i will bypass the resistors and I will go directly to the positive of the first bulb and uh, then the negative, I guess you'd call it, of the seventh bulb. Which means to get these to their maximum brightness, maybe I have to go to 21 volts. On the other hand, maybe I don't. Uh, let's just see what happens. Right now i got everything turned down. I shouldn't be burning anything out, all being well. Let's see what happens here. Okay, keep an eye on my, you keep an eye on the voltage, I'll keep keep an eye on the uh, bulbs here. Okay, what do we got, about 3 volts? Okay, I'm not seeing any light at all. And I'm not smelling any smoke. Do I have the amperage turned up? Yeah. Well, I do now. Okay, I don't think that would make a whole lot of difference with these. I'm getting 7 volts. Okay, I think that cooking these up in a series, it's sort of like the old Christmas tree lights. Remember, if one bulb burned out, you, you had nothing? Okay, what do we got here? 11, 13, we got to get up to 21, don't we? We're pretty close to it. Yep, 
There they go. 18 volts they lit up. Now, yeah, we're at 19 volts, and they're they're quite quite bright. Okay, so when you hook these things up in a series, it's sort of like hooking up uh, one and a half volt flashlight batteries in a series. Um, I, I I wasn't sure. I, I thought this is the way it would be, but I wasn't sure. All right, now let's uh, go through the resistor, and. Uh, I notice when I move these wires, I'm getting a lot of flickering going on. It must be this breadboard is probably a bit of a bad connection. A person would for sure want to uh, hardwire everything in. Okay, now there we go. Now we're going through our resistors. I still got the 220 ohm resistor in there. I I don't think this is going to get hot just from those bulbs. But uh, let's see what happens here now. Can you see the light? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, that's maximum. Okay, so it's possible to to uh, to uh, wire up a bunch of these and have them go dim. It's almost the same as if you just had one in there. Okay, enough with my uh, grade five experiments here. Let's. Uh, I was going to do something else with these this evening. I can't remember what it is. I'll just push uh, stop here and maybe I'll remember. Okay, now I remember what it was I wanted to try. If I hook these up in parallel so that they only require three volts to run all ten of them, will it, will it register on, on this? And it just barely does. It registers one-tenth of a watt. So that means that each bulb is a one one hundredth of a watt. Incredibly easy on, uh, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could light our homes with this? I suppose we could if we didn't uh, mind running into stuff. Okay, you know what, I'm starting to get tired here and I'm starting to talk stupid. So I think it's time to uh, <laughs> call it quits here this evening. So uh, thanks for watching everybody and all being well, we'll see you in the morning back at the Iowa.